Sorry about the commercial. Now they're gonna watch a commercial. I don't know how long the commercial lasts. Thirty-five seconds. All right. Well, let's talk shit now that my viewers, my viewers are watching a commercial, so that we can talk Fuck shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck the commercial. Fuck your commercial. Yeah. Fuck your commercial. Fuck all. I heard it's five hundred dollars to not have commercials, Fuck but. All your commercials. We here at the spot. Yeah. But if the commercials are really, really annoying you, you can pay three ninety nine to Ustream, and they're probably like paying me to say that, right? But instead, but instead. Support independent media. Independent I, media. I said to, I saw a, re, a reporter. I don't remember. We we're walking back from the GA tonight, and I saw a reporter and there was some lady with a suit and everything. And I said to her, "I'm real media." Real media. I'm real media. Fuck you, a ABC lady with the makeup. I'm real media. I don't have any makeup on. You know, the Check ABC me out. Guy, the ABC guy told me he can't talk to me because I got a mask on. Really? He asked the question of the guy who was standing right next to me and he was having a conversation. Uh -huh. And he came over and asked the question to him instead of me, right? Uh -huh. And I answered the question. The guy didn't have an answer. I answered the question. He was like, why would I talk to you when you're wearing a mask? I had a mask on, right? And he was like, I, why would I talk to you when you're wearing a mask? I'm like... You want to answer to your freaking question? You know what I mean? No. Well, I'll talk to people on masks because I'm real media. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't like it. So, um, if you're just seeing this video, the reason that it's dark, we're in the back room at the like, art gallery uh, for the Just Occupy show. Uh, it's February 18th or 19th. I forgot the date. It's uh, Saturday. Um, we're at Burger Mount Station in the gallery across the way from Track 16 Gallery. Um, and uh, it's a lot of occupiers here uh, drinking beer and wine and having fun. Come on down. So, there, you can see the snow. I think I'm going to go outside and see what's going on. That was good to talk to you. It's cold right here. Uh, I know. I know. But it's dark back there. I know. I, who's back there? A lot of people. I don't think I've even gone back there yet. Oh, that's where the alcohol is. Oh, makes sense. I think there's a band back there, but they haven't started yet. No. Alright, well, I'm going to make the rounds and say goodbye. Oh, don't leave. I'm not a party animal. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Me neither, but I was supposed to see some art because I'm an art student. Yeah. Oh, it's all over here on the walls. Oh, is that where they keep it? <laughs> People keep commenting though that they they wish they had the money to buy a print like that, and I was like, that's really sad. We should give it all away for free. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Well, like, oh, you can right click on my Facebook. All my shit's there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I was like, just take it. Do you really feel like you want to own it? No one's. I do like that it's tax, like that, like in photography class, we would never put our tax like that. I like that. That's like to me true Occupy. They just put the tax straight through and now there's a hole in it. And I like that because that's the way I present my photography that has to do with Occupy. It's also a digital print. There's, there's something to be said for not being silly about um, authenticity anymore. Every uh -huh. single print that you make of this picture will be the exact same quality. Yeah, but if you did it, all, well, well, isn't isn't color photography done by a machine anyway? Yeah, but it's completely fetishized, right? Because before the, the negative would degrade. These negatives don't degrade. They're uh -huh. all they're all yeah. digital negatives, right? So eventually, you know, like you could just you could just print as many pictures as people yeah. want of that. 
Well, well I did some beautiful black and white old school photography of nice. Occupy people. I have about 12 really, really great. And you will recognize every person in my, my, my thing. Mm -hmm. like, I don't recognize yeah, most of these people. I, I haven't put them online yet because I need to like shrink the quality so people can't steal the actual... See, I, I'm... You sound like it again. I'm thinking that way. Capitalists. Yeah. You know, we just got to put it all up high quality for free yeah. for anyone. But I do have to eat too. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like, how do we, how do we, like, how do we get past that? T-shirts. T-shirts, yeah. I was noticing the push pins being yeah. directly through it's the, really the paper. That's like a big no-no in photography. Yeah. Like this guy, he sells them but, but I like that. I would do that. I would put the push pins straight through the paper. That's my buddy, Scotty. Yeah? Is he in Venice now? I have no idea where he is. I'm going to send him that picture. Yeah. I remember that's when the media tent was on the other side. Was a... I wasn't allowed in, though. I was producing media. You weren't allowed in the media. I wasn't. Then. I wasn't allowed at media. Very, I was uh, not allowed to. I was not allowed to go to media meetings. I couldn't go. Yeah, I. I'm still like mad, even though I joined the media committee like two weeks ago. But I'm still mad about the past. Like, yeah. I, I'm producing. I was producing like every day. I was producing media, and they they haven't produced shit yet. But but they wouldn't let me in their tent. Yeah, amateurs. Which like, tent? The one on the when it was on the north side? Both. I couldn't go to a meeting. Yeah. Once yeah. I went to a meeting and I couldn't speak. It's like, uh, I think like the same day I went over, I'm like, hey, That's the Korean communications media, I worked for, you know, where some live and everything. And they're like, oh, whatever, Who's get the fuck out of here. Like, who are these people? Like, you know, who's watching you? The show is about to begin. Who's watching you? Who's watching you? Google? Yahoo? Facebook! <laughs> Who's you? There are people at home watching you now. Who's watching you? Who's watching you? I guess I'll, I, I was going to stop streaming, but how can I stop streaming? It's Occupy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we almost had a debate. What happened to our debate? We're going to have a pro streamer, anti streamer debate. What happened? I have no idea. I, something. All of our streamers are pissed off right now. Nobody wants us to come to GA. Yeah. Nobody wants to stream GA because all the streamers are pissed. Yeah. Because they're getting shit. Uh huh. I don't. I don't get it. Um. You know, people feel. I think I call it the ego. Uh huh. <laughs> so they they feel like the streamers have too much ego. Uh, every, Is that what it? Every single person. Yeah. When it. And if people get their feelings hurt, and people get moody, and it affects their abilities. Yeah. Like well, I had to leave Occupy for like a month because I couldn't handle it. Yeah. Yeah. It got too much for me. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. I'm still mad. <laughs> what can you do? I don't know. Not email people, not Facebook people, <laughs> not... Yeah, just cut yourself off from that social media because that's some nasty shit. Yeah, I stay away from the media. I mean, there's like a red alert right away. It's like. But the the you mean like the emails and stuff or? No, no, just approaching our media team. Oh, I'm, I love I'm, I love our media team now. I think they're great. Yeah. I totally there's different people, people too. There's some cool people on it. I can do, but there was some like psychotic fucks. Yeah. Well, I think it's a lot better now. It's way better now. It's, that's it's, good. It's almost gonna function now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's getting there, like it's getting there, it's getting better. Are you streaming? Are you streaming really? Are you are you videoing? <laughs> it's the Aki dog. <laughs> He's watching me. Wait, wait, wait. Who's watching you? My conscience is watching. <laughs> uh oh. People at home are watching you. We're beginning.
Who are beginning? Who? Who's watching you? Who's watching you? Who is watching me? He's watching me. We're watching each other while we watch ourselves. Exactly <laughs> right. Uh oh, more bear. Load it up. Load it up. How's it going? Well. That's cold out here. People disappeared. They. But then more beer just showed up. Yeah. Have you seen Beth? Um, I did see her. Where'd she go? I didn't see where she went off to. I don't know if she left. I hope she didn't leave. I was gonna take her home. I hope she's still here. And uh, Jeff. Did you find something? No, the band's playing where the bathroom was. Follow, live him. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that. And I don't know that person either. We cannot. It doesn't. Do you have any viewers? I have two viewers. One is a cop and the other one's DHS. How do you know he's a cop? I always assume there's a cop watching. At least one? Always assume that. Never, ever, ever live stream assuming that the cops are not watching. Is there like some kind of like uh, literature around this like live streaming stuff that's coming out of like like best practices and stuff? Are people talking about these things? No, but I think we need to talk about it because live streamers are getting shit right now, and yeah. and our live streamers are pissed off right now because they're getting shit. But um, we're all human and we're doing our best, and and you know, and not everybody likes everything, and and um, I don't know. Yeah, I think there needs to be best practices. I mean, I'm coming up with my own, but I'm learning as I go. Yeah. And I hope I'll interface with other people and kind of. Yeah. And 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 live streaming. Like Tim Pool got his ass kicked, just recently, and and Freedom got her phone stolen, and like there's danger involved in it, and like, and so um, I think, <laughs> I think we need we need a, like some kind of training or something. Like how do we. How do we, you know, how do we balance out, like, not pissing off people while getting the truth, while not revealing things that shouldn't be revealed? Like, it's, it's a delicate balance, and I think um, none of us have, have had any training on how to do it. We're just out there doing it. People are getting shit for it, and then, and then getting pissed off because they're getting shit for it. You know, it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's interesting when you think about the concept of... And it's getting shit publicly. It's not like a private, hey, you know, I'm I'm not cool with what you did. It's a public shit, which makes it ten times worse when you see it on the internet. See? It's, uh, it's just interesting, like, the line of, like, journalistic discretion kind of goes out the window when you're just, like, operating live, you know. Like, so it's kind of a weird... How do you, mod, you know, moderate that? I told you the wrong you know. Well, I don't know. Beth yeah. told me her advice was, those people in black don't point that way. Smart. Don't out people, like, if they're wearing a mask. They'll be like, hey, that's my friend. Um, one thing that I did uh, in, in Riverside, which was I think I did an awesome job, I pretended I didn't know people. I mean, I said what was happening. I don't know if I showed it, but, like, I said that guy's cutting the... the uh, zip ties on the barricades i said well i also showed because I, I mean it happened in front of me i couldn't turn the camera i was already there there was three guys running with with triple barricades like and everyone gets kisses kiss kisses are good blister and kisses for every mr and mrs yay wine so do you have any advice for live streamers um not particularly i think they should network with each other more and yeah and yeah common problems and uh -huh. kind of things. yeah i just think it, like you know you look at the concept of like street medics okay like street medics I just read an article about this today. It was online, you know, uh -huh. we talking about it. And it's like they're saying street medics came out of, like, the protest, you know, movement in the 60s or whatever. I'm going to drop this stream really quick. I'm sorry about the sure. commercial. I'll be right back.